What's up, my friend? You know what time it is. We've got Sharp over here in the top left-hand corner. His opponent's going to be Shine on Troy. Yeah, that's right. We're going to be taking a look at a Troy game here from the latter just a couple of days ago. This game was played. And one question I've been getting asked a lot when I've been streaming and playing on this map is saying, why don't you ban Troy? You get rid of that map and just not play on it at all. Well, the answer is simple. I like pain. Why else do you think I'm sitting here on the ladder playing Zerg in 2024? I'm not a psychopath, all right? I still have Fighting Spirit banned. I even have Dark Origin banned, but I won't ban a map until the suffering is so great that it makes me just want to quit the game completely. That's where we managed to get to with Fighting Spirit, but we haven't quite got to that point here with Troy, and I'm kind of liking the map uh, overall. I think it's kind of interesting. You seem to get the same builds over and over again from people on the ladder. But we'll see if um, we get the same sort of thing. It kind of looks like Sharp's going for what a lot of Terran players have done to me on this map, which is just building a wall, getting a couple of Marines, getting a factory, building two star ports, trying to overwhelm with uh, Wraiths. I, I feel like that's just so typical, so common. I think the big, the big thing about this map that really sticks out to me above and beyond other maps that are that have islands is that you have this island here that does not have a mineral patch a lot of bases will have a little mineral patch there so you can't land a cc without you know drop shipping a uh, scv over here and getting rid of that uh, mineral patch but here you can just kill your natural Whenever you feel like it, build a CC, float it over here, and land it. I think it's really strong on this map. That for, Just for that reason alone, I think this map uh, does have some Terran leanings. I think it's pretty strong for Terran. That's a very free base. But that requires you to take control of the air, because, of course, we know Mutilus are super strong. We're going to have a creep colony here at the front. While I'm prattling on about stuff that's not relevant to this game, we're having, yeah, two port wraith here. Okay, I guess it is kind of relevant. How did I know? How did I know we were going to get two port wraith? Well, I guess we saw the wall in, and this is just that map. Troy. I think it's very, very strong uh, on this map. We'll see if he actually does that. Does he float a CC down there and try to take that base? I am curious. It's a little bit easier to take this one if there's Mutas flying around, right? Because you can come out and start putting down turrets. But of course, counterattacking is possible. And we'll see if Shine goes for some Hydras or something to deal with this. Looks like he's already got muscular augments on the way. I personally prefer to get uh, range first. Range will allow you to fight with the wraiths a little bit better it won't allow you to actually chase them down but if they're like microing against your hydras if you only have speed and you don't have range they can actually out micro out micro your hydras and kill them which is super annoying now we've got the one uh oh god he's gonna get that wow he just got that really nice job there shine setting this up getting the kill on that first vulture and we've seen this before right we saw this when was this? When when we saw the um, the Lynx come out, kill the uh, first Vulture, and then a Hydralis bus come across and, and kill the Terran player? I can't remember when that was, but that was a fairly recent game. This time's not going to be that case, but we do have Hydras out here. Two Hydras chasing around these Wraiths. Wraiths are going to look for some Overlord kills here. Might even get this one. Is getting very low on that Wraith. He loses a Wraith for that. Oh, man, that's not good. He almost loses the second Wraith as well. Wow. Sharp getting a little bit greedy, honestly, with that first... A couple of Wraiths, man. And now he's going to lose some 
Uh, Marines here in the natural, targeting down the Wraith. He almost gets it with the single Hydra. More Hydras coming across. Wraith coming in here to try and get some more kills. It's looking for some drones, maybe. Possibly going for some overlords here, too. There's one over here that I don't think he knows about yet. SCVs are going to come up. He's going to kill this and lock uh, Sharp in his base. Now, I don't... I don't know too well about this particular situation, but he really needs to send these units home now because they're not going to do anything over here at uh, Sharps and Natural. We need to bring this Overlord back to... Oh my god, this Overlord is going to die. There it goes for free. That's so sad. Um, Shine still building drones right now. He does need more Hydra because really... I mean, Sharp doesn't have to build anything except for Wraiths here. He can just continuously build Wraiths, and he can set down a CC. And let's see, is he going to do that? Yeah. Yeah, he is. Look at that, guys. What am I, a genius? I did not watch this before. I did not watch this game beforehand, but I've played on this map a few times. I think it's very strong. I've never seen a Terran player do this. But I looked at this map and I was like, there's no mineral patch there, man. There's, uh, I think you could I think you could float one down there. I think that would work pretty well. Just float this down here. And then, you know, get a science facility. And start mining gas. You can't mine a lot of minerals right off the bat. But you can start mining gas. Uh, pretty darn quick. Once you get three SCVs out, that's pretty fast. Um, and then you can start pumping out science vessels on mess. And... On one base, you can't make that many science vessels, but you can make a lot of marines. So maybe he can go, you know, for a drop, shuttle the marines over, and then come out with a science vessel? I, I don't know. Maybe. We'll see where he goes with this. Wraith here getting a little low. We could also float the barracks out here and just build in the front. That's possible. Like, build a bunch of barracks here and then float them all to the front right there and then just build marines out of it i don't know that seems that seems crazy but maybe that's the right call we've got an engineering bay on the way so i feel like we're going to see marine upgrades from that it feels better to do that i think than to build drops and try to fly them out he's gonna take another cc here so we're gonna go tr uh, for another cc but you can't actually move the scvs out this is interesting here. This is very interesting. There's the CC here on the low ground. Should be taking that gas pretty soon. We don't have the science facility yet. But that's because we're expanding so rapidly here. I'm going to take out the assimilator over on this base. And I'm paying a lot of attention to the Terran. But let's take a look at what our friend Shine is doing. He's going for drops. Very quick drops. With Lurker coming up. Armor is on the way as well. Very interesting tech choices here from Shine. Shine, he will be trying to utilize drops. I mean, it's pretty hard to get that done when you've got six wraiths out. But maybe the drops won't be in the right position. You know, maybe the drops will be off. Or maybe the wraiths won't be in the right position. Excuse me. Maybe the wraiths will be off killing an assimilator somewhere. And the drops can come in and deal massive damage. We'll see. He's flying in. Getting the information here, but this tells a lot. This reveals a lot, I think, to uh, Sharp about what the plan is, right? You see that he's got Overlord speed right now, and you think maybe he's going to go drop. Maybe that's the case, because there's no real reason to have Overlord speed if you're not going to go drop. I guess it would just make sense to go drop no matter what, right? Looks like he's going to be able to block this. Not going to be able to take that. He will have to come down here to the bottom right. In order to take a base, we've got a Lurker out here. But one scan should clear that up. More Hydras coming up, actually. Oh, boy. He really needs to run with this Command Center. Command Center needs to bail out of here very quickly because he will lose that. Okay, two, two Siege Tanks. Should be, able to heal, or should be able to handle this. Oh, that's not bad, though. Not bad at all. Killing off one tank does work. Does does do some pretty good work there. I think I'd like. I'd love to see him maybe come back after killing these and drop a scan on this high ground. Kill these lurkers. The lurkers are really 
uh, easy to pick off here. Dropship just flying out on the map. I think that was uh, just rallied incorrectly. He should scan right now. Yeah, scan kill both all three of these lurkers. He should be able to get that one. Oh, he just barely doesn't get it. 7 HP. Okay, comes back for the kill. Trades a Wraith for that. We're going to start to drop Marine Medic on the other side of this wall now. This is a really wacky game. A very wacky game, as expected of Troy. Just a wacky, wacky map. And we've got two science facilities being made right now. That is a mistake, no doubt. Double science facility here is not the play. <laughs> We should not have double science facility. We do have the second gas up and running here, which is very nice. And I think that Shine doesn't know about that. I really I really don't think he knows about that. Otherwise, I believe we would just see a drop in there. I think we would just see him load up. Maybe he is going to load up in there now and just go for this. Wraiths really need to be over here, man. I don't know what the Wraiths are doing over on this side. They need to be over here. They're actually flying across the map right now. He's loading up the drop, and the rates are going to be in the wrong position. Oh, I really hate this from Sharp. Sharp, you're not thinking, man. Where are you sending your rates right now? This is so silly. We should be right here. We should be waiting for a drop, man. This is, this is incredibly sloppy play from Sharp, actually. He really needs to be over here. And now he's going to lose this entire base. Yeah, I think that uh, Shine was actually not even aware of this base being there. He was just going for the main. And he's going to get a huge amount of SCVs here. Oh, can he pick up all the SCVs? Okay, he gets quite a lot of them. I mean, he did pick up eight SCVs or seven SCVs here. Not too bad. Not too shabby. Oh, God, the rates are not, not doing well over here. Two of them go down basically for free. Now these... Uh, remaining wraiths will be pushed away here. Yeah, this really hurts Sharp right now, man. He could have had three base economy right now. But he's dropped down to two base. Which is still not that bad, I guess, against uh, a three base economy, Zerg. But we're going to be on four base soon. We're going to have four gas up here very quickly. Got some... Uh, Hydras here. They're just juking a little bit far away from these tanks, not allowing the race to clear up this this base here. And more drones heading down to the bottom right. Nidus Canal is installed here. Defiler Mound is coming up. I think Shine just it it seems like Shine is always a better player in the scrappy situations. I can't wait to see how Shine plays. Uh, on Troy in the ASL, man, if we actually end up getting this map. Um, I, I think we will get it, but are we going to get it in the round before Shine gets eliminated? I don't think Shine will win this season, but hopefully he goes kind of deep. I want to see more from Shine. I want to see Shine's take on these maps. It's really nice to see a, a little ladder battle here uh, between him and Sharp. Just to get like a little preview here of what he might be thinking. He's starting to move out. Sharp is with a big force of marine tank. We are not quite done defiler, but it's very close. Very, very close to that defiler attack. Two Nidus here. One for this back base. One for the base over here uh, in the bottom right. This Nidus is just about done. He's looking for a an irradiate on a... Defiler, but where is that Defiler? I think it popped through the Nidus. One of the Nidus. Oh, no, it's actually back here. Oh, he needs to run forward and get the um, Dark Swarm down here because we can hit the Nidus from this uh, low ground. So he will come forward, get that tank. Really nice job there with the Hydras coming up as well. Waiting for the Unsiege and then immediately running forward with the Hydras. Really, really good. I think we can hit everything from down here. Once again, we'll see if he ends up getting that position. Trying to pick off another tank. Didn't manage to get that. We'll kill a few Marines here because Sharp is just a little bit slow on responding to that. Now, four drops coming in right now. Oh, my God. Four drops here are going to land right inside the natural. We should have some Lurker and Defiler here, but at the same time, we're going to be breaking through... Over at this base here, I'll have to go picture in picture as all the chaos ensues. 
Sharp breaking through everything right now. The Nidus is going to be targeted down. One Irradiate comes down on this one Lurker, and all these drones are going to end up falling. Wait, 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 wait a second. Okay, looks like two Marines will survive here. And back at home, looks like everything's been cleaned up, but Shine in shambles. With so many of his units being killed. Okay, one more Marine here is left. But with three Lings on top of it, it will die. I can't believe he's managed to hang on to this. That is unreal to me. Shine actually managed to hold this base. If Sharp would have just not attacked those Lurkers, I feel. Let the, let the Irradiate do its job and just run up here or something with the Marines. Kite away from that. He probably could have killed that base, but... He just kind of fought into these lurkers that burrowed around the Nidus, and he ended up losing that, which is is pretty bad right now, honestly. Vessel dies down here. Another base comes up for Sharp. He's still got a lot of momentum right now, but it's very hard for him to get his units out of his base. Really, really tough for him to get those units out on the field right now. And Shine just does not have those issues. He can just continuously send out units. He's got this opening here in his natural. He doesn't have to worry. Uh, doesn't have those same worries that Sharp does. Those same encumbrances. Like he's got to just airlift everything out of his main base. That's so frustrating. He still hasn't been able to take this island back yet. We've got this base over here kind of sneakily mining in the top right hand corner. Shine not going to know about that for now, but he's coming forward here. Should get a big Dark Swarm. We should have a Plague as well. Plague on the Vessels is a pretty good choice. I actually like that a lot better than just throwing it on the Marines. You can fight with the Hydra here under Dark Swarm against the Marines, but the Plague on the Vessels, getting rid of those Vessels is going to be really massive. It's going to make a big difference here going forward shine gonna try and take another base here fifth gas is gonna be online here shortly what is he gonna do with it i don't see any ultras here he's thrown down a spire instead looks like a single drop gonna make its way over here towards this uh center or top right base he's gonna drop a lurker here scvs were being sent over but uh, wow, he really needs some Marines here. Something to actually defend these SCVs. Looks like they might be coming through in this drop. No, he needs to get up here. What is he doing? Where is he going with these uh, Marines right now? He needs to save this base. I guess he's just going to let the the uh, SCVs fight with the um, medic support? What? We've got one Hydra here. Just kill it. Okay, we're going to go back now. A little bit of chaos right now from Shine. Or from Sharp, excuse me. He could just cloak this and kill this as well. Things are getting a little bit hectic here. You can see just the, the difficulty of playing on this map. Plus, the, the kind of wildness of this game so far is taking its toll on Sharp right now. And he's struggling to put things together. He's got a lot of fire bats here. He can break through this 100%. We are going to have a plague right now, but... Not the greatest plague in the world, and he managed to kill all of those units. So, clearing out that attack. Where is the CC? He's floating it all the way home? Okay, I guess we're going to float up here, maybe? I'm a little bit confused about that. I think Sharp just getting a, a bit frustrated at this point, maybe. He's going to load up his drops once again and bring them out to the front. He just can't control everything at the same time with the added encumbrance of having to load up drops here i wish he would just float his racks out to the front somewhere like drop his racks in the natural so that he doesn't have to worry about this anymore fire bats here are gonna come forward and clear out under the dark swarm thankfully finally getting rid of those units there but shine is just out of control look at this 2000 gas 2000 gas this man can fight forever He's got so much going for him. He's even getting into Ultra. GG is called. Sharp taps out. But that was a really great game. Honestly, I really enjoyed that. I, I think that Sharp... I mean, he's a great player. But he's just no match for Shine when it comes to a weird map. That's It's funny to say that. We don't really talk about weird maps too much. But 
it really feels like shine is the guy to look to to figure out how to play these maps he's the guy who is going to be able to find the ways to abuse the maps properly he's going to be the one to abuse uh, to find the ways to uh, kind of take advantage of the the small intricacies earlier than anybody else and really taking out these two assimilators here was turned out to be really clutch i didn't think that this was a good idea honestly when shine was first taking these out i was like kind of looking at it cock cockeyed like what are we doing here is that really good but yeah i guess so shine you know in the situation where that it's just Wraiths, you kind of want to leave this open so that you can attack because they're just going to build wraiths and keep building wraiths and you can't ever attack them if this is closed but if you kill this it makes things really weird for the terran later on it makes things really frustrating for them uh to deal with all of the the difficulties of moving the a marine medic around and i guess shine realized that hey i just keep building hydra i'm gonna go into drop we will defend the rates with hydra and then sharp will have to transition and when he transitions he's gonna find himself in a really tough spot now i want to reiterate again i really feel like flying out with the the barracks actually would have been a great play like set the barracks up maybe a bunch of barracks here or maybe a bunch of barracks here or i don't even know where else you could put the barracks but really putting barracks here and here you know in a big clump i feel like that might have been better just to make it a little easier on yourself uh, also of course not blocking here with the rates was a huge mistake i think this is a great base to take for sharp but not keeping the wraiths at home to deal with drops, which are obviously going to be coming. It's so clear that we're going to have drops here. And maybe it's not totally clear to Sharp, but it's just so clear on this map that you would want to go drops as uh, the Zerg player. You can't even you can't even attack at all into the Terran unless you go drop. So I, I think that was a huge oversight. Anyway, guys. That's going to be it for this ladder battle. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.